Hi everyone, this is Vernon Lane with Self Reflection. Um, starts and ends with you, my, my personal blog and also Facebook page, Self Reflection and Insight. Um, today I want to talk about love makes sacrifices. Um, um, I do a lot of part time driving with Lyft right now, and then I thought I was doing it for extra money or just you know just make ends meet around the house but come to find out there's a lot of people just like they use bartenders and they use the barber to 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 share their they they what they're going through they use lift drivers also as that and i and what i'm noticing that a lot of them is, is engaged a lot of them is married and they're having issues so i i, I share my experience and I want to, and I and I have a lot of a lot, a lot of riders with that. So I want to share with you today on can a brother share that love makes sacrifices, right? Because when they get in the car and they they talking about their they talking about their relationship, one thing I hear all the time is that marriage is hard. Marriage is hard, and what I come to find out based on my experience. Marriage really isn't that hard, okay? Marriage, matter of fact, marriage is not hard at all. You know, from my experience is that when marriage is hard, it's because I put my wants before my wife needs. That's what makes marriage hard, right? Again, when I put my wants before what my wife needs, my marriage began to become hard because here's what happened because I'm self-centered by nature. I'm self-centered. We all are. It's, it's the flesh. You know, God said live by spirit, but that's easier said than done, but it can be done. And I'm going to give you some examples that I have used that, um, I actually practice it. But anyway, when, when, when things don't go my way, okay, when I'm in a marriage, I tell people all the time, I have a problem in my marriage when things don't go my way. Okay, I'm a big kid. I'm a I'm a child. I want everything to go my way. Okay, that's just what it is. I'm a man. Yes, I pay bills. I do all those things, but I want things to go my way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when things don't go my way, I have a problem. But see, when I say love makes sacrifices, is that I notice when I'm not being appreciated. I notice when 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 I'm when I feel I'm being mistreated. See, God said when I married Nicole, that we became one. So here's the thing. When I notice things don't go my way in the marriage and I feel mistreated, I should also be able to notice when things aren't going her way. To all the men out there that are listening to this, here's the thing I want, I want to share with you. When your wife began to complain she have already went past the limit that she's supposed to be. What I'm getting at is that when you pay attention to yourself, you notice things before you started complaining. So that's how it is when it comes to your wife. You have to pay attention to your wife. In order to make sacrifices for her, you have to pay attention to her. Okay? And the reason why I say that, okay, I was out yesterday. Perfect example. Perfect example. I was out yesterday. And I was riding, right? Now I'm driving. My wife called me. She, you know, I got a customer. She said, hubby, I need you home, right? I said, okay, no problem, right? So I turn off the app and I come home. Now on the way home, my flesh is talking to me. Oh, it's all got to be about her. Now, now, you know, you the man. All you're doing is out here making this money, right? And I'm sharing with y'all is that when you live by the spirit, that don't mean the flesh is going to stop talking, right? But here's the thing. You have a choice. You don't have to react to what the flesh says, right? And here, here, here's a scripture that God had put on my heart to share with you guys. Matthews 25, 30, start with um, verse 35. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. 
See, as a, as a husband, there's a lot of questions I have to ask myself when I'm trying to connect with my wife spiritually. And the first one is said, for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. A lot of times our wives be hungry. Okay, and I'm not talking about for no food. I'm talking about like yesterday when she called me, I knew the spiritual condition she was in. She was hungry for my time and my attention. See, this thing is spiritual. But the Bible is practical. It ain't nothing that we trying to trying to, you know, quote scriptures and just it's practical. So, right. So now because I already knew the condition of my wife before I left, because she was already letting me know that she just wanted my time and attention. And one thing about when a wife wants your time and attention, she shouldn't have to explain why she wants your time and attention. Love makes sacrifices. Now, I was out there making extra money, but the question is, do I need the extra money? No, I don't. So why are you out there, Vern? Because that's what I wanted to do. Now, my wife, she needed my time and attention. So I turned the app off and I came home, right, to spend time with my wife. That's a perfect example. Now, do I always have victories like that? No, I don't. But that's just an example of sacrifice. The Bible says we are a living sacrifice. What I'm trying to share, when people say marriage is hard, marriage is not hard. Marriage is hard when you put in what you want before what your wife need. Okay? Now, the other part is, the key is, is what she needs. So you have to pay attention to what she need. And by reading and studying the Bible, God would teach you what your wife need, right? That's one thing he would do. Then also by paying close attention to her and listening to what she's not saying. The, you know, my wife says a lot of things that without saying any things, like there are certain TV shows that she watch when she's not feeling so, so, so good, right? And I, I notice that. So when I come in, I see she watching, I think it's just, some type of investigating show, right? You know, ID or something like that. Anyway, she, I know she's, she's into herself. She's thinking a lot. And one thing you don't want your spouse to do, trust me, man, you don't want your wife thinking a lot. You, 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 trust me, you don't want to do that, right? So, so you, want her to, to, you want her to be able to express herself. So, you know, one thing that I use, I say, can I share? I'm, no, I actually I say, do you need to share? And she'd go into what she need to share, right? And as I'm listening to her, you... As you listen to your wife, you let, you let her express herself, but in a loving, kind way, you guide her back to her, right? Because a lot of times women, they begin to focus on outside issues. And I do too. And we focus on outside issues. So instead of trying to fix her, because one thing about men, we, we like to fix people, right? Because that's what we do. We fix, right? So don't try to fix your wife. Just guide her back, spiritually guide her back. To herself, right? So she focusing on the job. You you got her back to what's what's the real issue? Is it the job, or because of that you didn't eat breakfast this morning, or you you stayed up watching too many shows last night? Now you're really tired. It's really not the job. Is that you're just tired right now? Um. So so love makes sacrifices. Also, the scripture has said it said also, I was in prison. And you came to visit me. A lot of times, women can be in prison in their marriage, man. And what I mean by that is that a lot of times they feel that their husband don't understand them. See, the key to the key also is to learning how to listen and understanding your wife, putting yourself in her shoes. Right. It, it, it takes a practice. Now, it takes a lot of humility and it takes a lot of denying yourself, but it can be done. Man, right. So when you when, when when you help her get you visit her, you visit her in her prison. What I mean by that women, you, you know, and I know women can feel insecure. They can isolate and they can even go into depression. I wrote a blog on, on uh, I wrote a, a blog on my self-reflection called. I waited, I waited on God in the isolation chamber. Go check it out, www.startsandendswithyou.com, and go check it out. And what I was talking about, my wife, when she suffered from depression, I don't know nothing about depression, right? 
I don't know nothing about it. So, so I waited for God in the isolation chamber because that's what they do. Because what I did, I tried to connect with my wife by trying to understand depression. And the best thing, and I talked to a couple of guys that I know do counseling. They say, Vernon, that's the best thing you could ever done for your wife is to try to understand it instead of trying to fix her and say you should do this and you should get up out the bed and all don't do that don't 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 do, don't do that so anyway so try to understand your wife and when and you go visit her in the prison go visit her right meet her where she at don't judge her don't criticize if she feel don't don't tell her you shouldn't be feeling insecure you shouldn't feel lonely i'm paying all these bills i'm doing don't do that okay connect with her is that where she at? That's just where she at. Okay, love makes sacrifices. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about sacrificing what you need. No, sacrificing what you want to do for what she need. Don't let your boys put no peer pressure on you. Don't do that, y'all. Don't be too, don't if you if you want to go hang out with the boys and watch the game. And then they go on to watch the game. And your wife is at home, and she said, well, I want you home with me. Let me tell y'all, man. I'm just sharing with y'all my experience. Forget them dudes. Half of them guys, they probably ain't even going to be married long anyway. Don't put no guys. I'm telling you, the whole world right now, don't put no dudes before your wife. All right? Love makes sacrifice. I just wanted to share with y'all with um, this episode on Can a Brother Share? And I'm going to get back with y'all again. I'm doing a lot of things right now. Y'all going to see me live streaming. Y'all going to see me um, doing um, talk shows and things like that. So um, I just wanted to get with y'all to let y'all know that marriage is not hard. Marriage is really easy once you put your spouse wants, I mean needs, before your own wants. All right. Have a good day.